Okay, it's pop quiz time. Do you agree or disagree with the following statements? 1. You are a certain kind of person, and there's not too much you can do to change that. 2. No matter what kind of person you are, you can always change substantially. 3. You can do things differently, but the important parts of who you are can't really be changed. 4. You can always change basic things about the kind of person you are. Did you find yourself agreeing with number 1 and number 3? Or more with number 2 and number 4? If you connected more with number 1 and number 3, you have a fixed mindset when it comes to your personality traits. You guys stick around after class, we've got some homework to do. There are other ways you can have a fixed mindset though. You might think that your intelligence is fixed, or that your athletic ability is fixed, or even your relationship skills are what they will be for the rest of your life. As Carol Dweck, the author of Mindset and professor of psychology at Stanford University would tell us, the mindset you take on will have an enormous impact on the trajectory of your life. So if you found yourself identifying more with the growth mindset, congratulations, you're more likely to live a happy and fulfilled life. But if you find yourself identifying more with the fixed mindset, does that mean you should just throw in the towel? No, because there's good news here for you too. Because the only person who decides what mindset you adopt in your life is you. And guess who has the power to change that? In the next 10 minutes, we're going to take a journey inside the two mindsets and understand exactly how you can start building a better life by utilizing a growth mindset in everything you do. But first, the fixed mindset. There are many ways to divide the world. Benjamin Barber, an eminent sociologist, would tell you that one way is to divide it by learners and non-learners. And this is at the heart of Dweck's argument. The learners believe they have the ability to change and set about learning what they need to do in order to make the change a reality. The non-learners, on the other hand, are quite clear about the fact that things are the way they are and that there's no sense in trying to change them. But we don't come out that way. Think about the way a baby comes into this world. Babies spend all of their waking hours designing experiments and learning about the world around them. They are curious beyond belief. They stretch their skills on a daily basis and take on some of the largest challenges in life, like learning how to walk and talk. You probably don't remember what it was like to learn these things, and that's probably a good thing. Our adult selves would probably have given up and spent the rest of our lives sitting down and not saying a word. But as children, we just did it. If we fell down, we got back up again and figured out how we'd avoid falling down the next time. And we kept learning and learning and learning until one day we were walking and talking and terrorizing the household. Then, somewhere along the way, some of us magically developed a fixed mindset. It might have been something our parents said, you know, we'll get to that later, or some event where we learned that life was about being evaluated against some arbitrary norm. Children as young as four years old exhibit the behavior of somebody with a fixed mindset. Everything that happens in life from that age onwards seems to enforce the belief that things are the way they are and that's all there is to it. We start identifying some kids as more intelligent than the other kids. Some people have athletic ability and some don't. For the kids who were developing a fixed mindset, this was problematic. If you had a fixed mindset and were unlucky enough to get labeled as one of the gifted ones, you learned that effort was not for people who were deficient. If you were in the not so gifted side, you learned that effort would only lead to ridicule and embarrassment. Unfortunately for the kids with the fixed mindset, this eventually catches up with them. For them, trying their hardest and leaving themselves no excuses is the biggest fear of all. If they leave it all on the proverbial table and fail, they will be exposed as a fraud. For them, it's always better to leave themselves with the excuse that if they have just tried a little harder, you know, or at all, they would have succeeded. The Growth Mindset The children who learn the growth mindset learn to live in a very different world than their fixed mindset counterparts. Where the fixed mindset people saw a world full of judgments and fear, the growth mindset people saw a world full of wonder and things to learn. More importantly, they understand that even the most